The, the word verification is quite important because governments have been struggling with the challenge of verification and this is why you many times have to have some sort of intermediary right to support that verification uh, you need an intermediary in the middle of two entities right then you put government in the middle and government ensures trust blockchain is actually a great technology to support these verification processes without necessarily having intermediaries in between. And I think that's the message that we have been trying to pass for governments that are watching us or others that are watching us. And this is what is driving, I believe, a lot of sectors towards blockchain, including governments. If we look at blockchain, it's actually supporting real life services that relate a lot with this idea of the digital transformation, where we will no longer have paper documents, but we will carry in digital wallets documents that can be presented and verified for daily life situations. And the idea again is to combine the emergence of the digital wallet with blockchain and verifiable credentials. So we are working with all member states. Um, we are creating the first public sector driven blockchain. So we are really deploying blockchain nodes in all member states which will then support these services. One use case, as I said, is the diploma one. You, you can relate to that. Another one is on the social security with a posted worker. When he goes abroad, he takes a document that's called the PDA one. It means that he legally did this social security procedure and then he can show it for verification. We will expand to other areas. The first one is this idea of transforming documents into verifiable credentials that can be presented through wallets that are not actually produced or created by the Commission, they are created by the private sector, but they are interoperable because we are setting the standards. And that's what the government should do, set the standards so that the private sector can then develop the solutions. And therefore, we are working with the member states, with the private sector, and of course, doing this with all member states. So this is European-wide, and I believe it will have a great impact in our lives, hopefully.